Hey, welcome back guys, this is Carty Fox, and today we're going to be building Percy from Thomas and Friends. So this is the new and improved updated model compared to Thomas, which I posted a tutorial a couple months ago, and a lot of people like that. So here is Percy, new and improved compared, you can see that there's the same height. And here's the older model, which is totally inaccurate, and it's really horrible now that I'm like redesigning Percy. So you can see it is quite tall, and it didn't have like... Uh, this gap right above that smoke box so you can see I have it now and it's a lot shorter So it's gonna be the same height as Thomas and before the face is really tall and one thing I don't know why but you know in the older one I didn't even have the rods connect to the piston so that didn't really make sense at all um, But yeah, I really like the new design and hope you guys do enjoy this video and let's get started So first off we're gonna take out a red Concrete. We're gonna place that three blocks above the tracks. So one, two, and three. Delete the bottom parts, and behind it, um, actually to the side, we're gonna add in pistons. And then we're gonna add red concrete to the side of that, and lever in the middle. Pull it down. Add another brick uh, fence underneath. Then we'll add red nether brick slabs and add a row of five, right at the bottom. All right, so then we'll add in gray concrete. We're gonna make it 15 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like that. And then we're gonna add in the red concrete. Pistons to sides again. Leave in the middle, pull it down. Red concrete on the side. And then a row of five red nether brick slabs like that then the middle area we're going to fill that in with uh, gray concrete three blocks wide all the way across all right and then we're going to add red concrete uh, row all the way across and the reason why i like doing thomas and friends tutorials is the builds are usually not that complex to make compared to like real life trains all right so after we done that uh where to go Take out lime concrete, skip two blocks away from the front corner, and add in three like this. Then skip two blocks and add in another three. One, two, three like that. And then go on the bottom part and add in two. It's got to line up. We can also add in a spruce buttons, a row of three across this top portion. And the bottom part, we're going to add in two acacia buttons. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So add in three here, skip two, three here, then two at the bottom, put the piston, and then two acacia buttons, and then three spruce buttons. Then we're going to add in um, prismarine brick uh, stairs, row three on the back one, and then four blocks long of prismarine brick slabs. So one, two, three, and four like that. Going to do the same thing over here, three. And then four. Then on top, we're going to add lime uh, concrete, two blocks tall. And we're going to extend this all the way to the back of this brick. Once we get up to here, we're going to add two blocks long of lime. And we're going to make it three blocks tall. Then this middle part, we're going to add one here. Then we'd go on the inner portion, add in three blocks tall lime. Go back in the outer portion. And add three blocks tall lime. This could go all the way to the back. And we're going to wrap it all the way around the back part to the other side and just do a mirror image of what we did on the other side to this side. So I'm just copying what I did over there. And it should be like that. Then we'd go on the inside part of this. Add in, I guess, a two by two lime. Like so. Then this front section, we can add a row across of lime right there. Then we'll add in uh, this to right wall in this corner. And we'll take out another brick fence. And we'll add one in the middle and one to the other corner. Then we'll add in to the back the lamp. So a deer right wall here. Another brick fence over there. Then. Um, Right on top of here, we'll take out uh, nether brick stairs. And we're going to have a row of upside down three blocks long in the middle here. And we'll add upside down facing the front 
in that corner. Then we're going to add another one upside down facing outwards right next to it in the front. Then in the middle we want to add in some coal blocks so just add in three right there in the middle. And then we're going to add a row of five lime concretes and add one in the middle and one on the sides. And then we'll add this window which is going to be an oak stairs upside down like that. Then we're going to go to the front and add an oak stairs. It's going to be also upside down right here in that corner and another one on the other side. Then we'll add three lime concretes in the middle of that. And for this interior, what I did, I added lime concrete, a wall all the way down right here. Pretty simple interior. I didn't really add in any of like the details, which you can add if you want to customize this. All right, so now we're going to add in the roof. So it's going to be three blocks long of this spruce trap door. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add in uh, five blocks long of black ca carpet, like so. And then the middle part's going to have uh, another brick slab, three blocks wide. Now I know I, I do read your comments. A lot of people are asking me to use like Blackstone, but my server is still on 1.15 because the plugins aren't yet updated. So that's why I'm still using the nether brick slabs. All right, so now we're going to add an oak fence in the front in the middle. And we'll add in prismarine brick, two blocks long. And then we'll add an oak plank here, prismarine brick slab. And then a lime concrete, prismarine brick slab. Then I'm going to add a row of prismarine brick slabs on the sides of this. And then a lime concrete underneath the fence and prismarine brick slabs for the rest. Then we're going to add in these acacia buns for stripes. So just add it every other block so that there's four of them on each side. All right, and then for the smoke box and its face, uh, let's add in a plus sign with black concrete like that. And then we'll add a plus sign of smooth quartz, which is a new thing I'm doing because I realize regular quartz has the lines in it. And we'll add in smooth quartz uh, stairs in the corners like this. And another brick stairs in the other corners for the black part. All right, and then on top, we're going to add the smokestack, which is just two blocks tall of black concrete. Now for this under section, we'll add in lime concrete all the way across the middle and then nether brick stairs right after the pistons and then we'll add in this light gray carpet right above every section that's exposed just to make it one solid color like that all right then we're going to go to the cab and add in lime glass panes on sides of this and prismarine brick slabs on sides same thing on the other side and we'll need to add in the number six banner. So to make that, go to our loom. And I don't even have a loom, so I'm going to have to make one. And we'll use a lime banner and put yellow dye. And to make that six, so I guess we'll just add a line across the right hand side, put that back in. And then a line across the bottom section. Put that back in and then a line across the middle part. Put that back in and a line across the left hand section like that. So it kind of looks like a bunny ears. Then we need to take out a lime die. Go back to our loom, place this banner back in, the lime die, and then we'll have to fill in this upper corner like that. And also fill in a border around the whole thing. So now we have our number six. We can add that to the back right next to where the coal bunker is. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, it lines up with the pillar. And we'll add that to uh, both of them like so. All right, so what's left is the wheels. So for the wheels, we're going to take out um, lime concrete. And we want to go right after this piston and make a T-shape with lime concrete lines with the tracks and then we'll add in stone brick stairs in the bottom corners 
All right, then we're gonna skip three blocks. So one, two, three, and then add another T shape here. So make sure three blocks of space in between. And we'll add in our upside down stone brick stairs. And same thing on the other side. Stone brick stairs and the middle part is gonna have sort of like a box underneath. So that's gonna be a gray concrete. So we go in between the back wheel and in between the front wheel, adding gray concrete all the way across. So it's like one giant box and the back part, we're gonna add in nether brick slabs all the way across like that. And the front part, we I guess we don't, don't do anything else. All right, next we're gonna take out stone brick slab, go to our first wheel at the bottom, make it go all the way to the middle of the last wheel. Then we'll add a stone brick slab here and an upside down stone brick stairs. Then stone brick slab, and then stone brick slab. A slab down, and this is gonna be three blocks long like that. Now the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. So take out stone brick slab here, all the way to the middle, and then upper slab here, skip a block, upper slab, and stone brick stairs upside down, and then three stone brick slabs here. We're also gonna add in a step for the ladder, which is a prismarine brick stairs. Same thing on the other side. And we'll also add in a uh, light gray carpet in this little nook just to cover up that red on the side. So do the same thing on the other side, like so. And uh, yeah, that is actually pretty much it on how to build the new and improved uh, Percy design in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below if you want to support the channel. And subscribe if you want to be notified of future videos. My name is guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.